Okay, I'm going to show you how to mark out your sheets of aluminium and we're going to start by using a ruler and a sharpie. You can draw on this uh, top piece of plastic that's protecting the aluminium as long as you're using a biro, but there are sharpies in the pot for you, the orange pot, so you might as well use them. So I need 220 um, millimetres and I'm going to mark there, 22 centimetres, and I need 70. So I'm going to mark here at the top. 70 and I'm just going to leave a line as close as possible to the edge. To make a really nice neat straight line across a sheet of material I would use a tri-square or if this was actually a piece of metal here it's called an engineer's square. Because we're working with metal we should be using an engineer's square and what I need to do is line up my sheet of material against this side of the tri-square and pull across over the top and I get a nice perpendicular line to the edge. I'm going to do the same over here so that when I go to line it up on the guillotine in a moment and I can lean on the table but you'll notice that it's easier to lean this tri-square over the edge of the table when you're drawing and marking out so you can get a nice neat straight line like that. With any sheet of aluminium I've calculated it so we should get exactly three pieces of material out of it. Okay and on a table you only need one sheet for your table and then you should have one sheet that's left here at the end that's slightly too short and a scrap. The scrap we're going to leave at the side, but you should mark out all three before cutting. Don't assume that because you've marked one piece out that it would be easier to then guess where you're cutting in half because it's not. Okay, you want it to fit perfectly with the CAD file that you've created. Okay, I'm going to go over and look at the guillotine now. And it's going to shear here at the bottom. So this guard here is to protect you and stop you from sliding your fingers into any space that you're working on. And you can see here at the side at the top, there's a handle that will slide up and down. You're going to place your material into the guillotine. And line up that line you've just marked out. So it lands exactly where it's going to shear. You're going to hold it flat against this marking so it's nice and straight, but also check that you've lined it up. And I'm going to put you down now. As you do that, you should be able to tell that it's a nice neat cut that's going to come from it. Pull the handle up, hold your material as flat as you can against the side and on the table. Pull down. There's no need to use a lot of force, but it should be nice and neat cut you get. I wouldn't go running your finger along this edge because it's quite likely it's sharp. We'll finish that with silicon carbide paper after. Again, line up that line that you've just marked out. It might mean that this isn't quite as straight as it would like. Your material will land out the back and what you should have is a perfect piece of aluminium that's ready for you to be folding for your phone stand so that you end up with something that looks like this. Perfect. Good luck.